All right, time now, 531. Uh, uh, they're coming. There they are. Uh, First, it was the midges. Now preparations underway along the lake shore oh. for the return of the, ooh, the mayflies. This is too much. You might remember this famous picture, right, from several years ago of the bugs covering this car in Port Clinton. That's like something out of a horror movie, isn't it? Disgusting. <laughs> so News 5's Caitlin Hunt joins us with more. Caitlin, we know that these bugs make our skin crawl. Those pictures were, ooh, but they can be a safety hazard. Yes. Hi, Mike. Tiffany. Yes, very true. They can be a safety hazard, especially when you're out here on the roads. But fun fact about mayflies is that they're very attracted to light. So that's why Ohio Edison's First Energy is warning residents that they're getting ready to shut down some street lights and lakeshore communities to keep roads safe and to prevent any accidents out there. So officials are going to be temporarily turning off street lights along several roads in Port Clinton, Marblehead and Erie Township for several weeks because those areas are known to attract mayflies and where they gather and could cause traffic hazards. So the company will resume streetlight service once that hatching season ends because it's not just the amount of mayflies that can be dangerous for a driver's vision at night, but it's also what the bugs themselves produce. They're attracted to the light. And so if we can avoid having them um, gather along the lake shore, it helps the roads be safer both for um, people being able to see and then the oily carcasses of the mayflies when they when that gets on the road it can cause slick conditions so we're trying to help prevent uh, you know any issues on the roadways by eliminating some light and then hopefully deterring the mayflies. Pedestrians and bikers are reminded to use extra caution when traveling along unlit roads this summer, and they're also urged to always use sidewalks and crosswalks and wear bright clothing or flashing devices to alert drivers of their presence. And drivers are reminded to reduce their speed in unlit areas and be on the lookout for people walking or biking in the area. And residents are also encouraged to keep their outdoor lighting to a minimum during these swarming periods. And those periods usually last about a month and go all the way to September, really. So while they can be a nuisance, both midges and mayflies are harmless and they provide food for birds and fish as well. And ironically, they're a sign of a healthy Lake Erie. So that's a good thing.